What's up everyone? Welcome to Helix Auto Works. Uh, in today's video slash episode, uh, I'm gonna be talking about the weight of the NSX. We um, start wondering why it was so hard to bring it over to Maryland. When I was trying to bring the car on the U-Haul trailer, I have uh, plenty of issues, a lot of sway on the trailer, and it's not the first time I trailer a car so uh, something was not right and it wasn't until uh, Fonsi from Lopro uh, Towing pointed out that uh, the car might be waiting more than what it actually seems. So I did a video, I got some scales and like you'll be surprised. So uh, an ANSX weights around 3,100, 3,200 pounds. Uh, this NSX uh, the Lognex NSX weighted uh, a bit more than that. So I'm gonna leave you with the video. Um, it's gonna be in um, portrait mode. So for all of you guys that they were, they hate portrait mode on YouTube channel, uh, I understand, we understand. We, we read your comments. Uh, there is nothing we can do at the moment. These videos were recorded prior to all this uh, exposure that we got for the, uh, from the car. So bear with us, that's, 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 how, that's what we have right now. Um, we don't wanna waste any content. It was recorded like that. There's nothing we can do about it. We were trying to crop it and make it fit. It just looks weird. So this week we're gonna do probably two, maybe three videos uh, so we can get out, get rid of all the portrait videos that we have. And the following week we're gonna have fresh content. Uh, everything in like landscape and no more in portrait. We're learning as we go. So thanks for bearing with us. Uh, we appreciate you guys for following us on Instagram, Facebook, here. Our progress. We found out uh, that we might need more than we were expecting, but it's okay. It's part of the journey. Uh, no, not our first uh, restoration project. This is definitely different, uh, but we're working on it. Uh, we're trying to assess uh, if we're gonna need maybe another NSX, we don't know yet. Hopefully not, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out. So the car is right here. Uh, like I said, it's not how you guys saw it on our first video where uh, we popped the hood and like, you know, started like seeing all these issues on the front rails and stuff like that. So uh, I don't wanna spoil it because this video from the, uh, me weighing the NSX and, uh, and also Ransi helping me out. Uh, it was recorded prior to all the exposure that we're getting from the car. So, uh, I'm gonna leave you with the video. Uh, well, maybe I can show you a little bit of the car, how it looks like. Not warning, the following video was recorded in portrait mode. Stop crying about it. All right, guys, here it is. The Lognex NSX. I don't know, we're gonna do be in some landscaping. What's up, man, how are you? This thing is wild. Definitely some mud in there. Woo, baby. God. Look at that thing. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. As you guys can see on the pictures, the car is sitting more towards the back of the trailer and not to the front. I didn't think this was such a big issue, me assuming that the car was weighing 3000 pounds or a bit less since it was missing some parts. Big mistake I made when I started having some sway problems on my way back to Maryland. Then we decided to transfer the car to a bigger trailer and take it back to the garage. Just so you guys have an idea, 
we remove almost 200 pounds of mud out of one single door on the car. Here are also some pictures that nobody has seen yet online about the uh, car. All right, guys, I'm not gonna continue trailering the, uh, the River NSX uh, with the Raptor, uh, mainly because it's pulsing a lot. As you guys can see, like, those wheels don't move. So we couldn't drag the car that way that much. So the wheel should be here, my finger. And it's actually towards the metal. And I would assume there is a lot of mud in the hood right there. So if you guys see, all the weight is on the rear wheel where it should be like right in the metal. So every time I hit a bump or something, the car bounces and it starts pushing that way and make my car fairly unstable and it's very dangerous right now. So, I'm not gonna drive it anymore, I'm not gonna tow it anymore. Because, uh, you know, I don't wanna get into an accident for no reason. You guys can see it's like all the weight is on the back. So, we have Fonzie from Low Pro. He's gonna give us a hand uh, with that baby right there. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna put on a flatbed and then we're gonna take it back to uh, one of our bases in Maryland uh, so we can put on dollies and uh, we can uh, start as checking what it needs to get done to it, which I mean, besides the obvious, uh, we're gonna put it on, like, up in the air and see what else we need to do. After Ramsey, Fonzi, and myself spent most of the night trying to put the cars on dollies, I was on my way back to Virginia to pick up the scales. wireless so I'm gonna take this to the shop put the car on the scales and see how much it weights back with the car guys I'm about to uncover it it's beauty with a cameo cover uh, now uncover uh, put the scales and trying to find out how much uh, mud is inside of the car uh, so stay tuned it took me a bit over an hour to set up the scales mainly because the non-existent tires actually made the car very very low to the ground we had the dollies in place uh, with some uh, two by fours on top of them so the car will stay high enough for us to use the jacks and I had to do that and put some extra two by fours underneath the car so i can set up the scales actually so i can put the jack underneath the car raise the car high enough for me to put the scales with the two by fours so i so i can remove the jack and i didn't damage the frame um, and let me tell you, this thing was heavier than I was expecting. This thing is heavy, like really heavy. I mean, I'm not surprised because it's been sitting there and it's probably like full of mud, rocks or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's definitely heavier than, than I was expecting. Um, the final weight of the car was 5,241 pounds. If we take off a few pounds for the two by four sitting on the scales, the final weight of the car was 5,229 pounds. So a total of 
way over 2,000 pounds of the regular weight of an NSX from 1991 and up. After a long day in the garage, Ramsey and I decided to call off the day and start getting ready for the first car wash of the Lochnex NSX. Stay tuned for more.